שלום. שלום. תודה רבה. צ'אנג פסח שמח. בלסד פיסט אוף פס אובר. Do you know that you're here at one of the most important prophetic days in the calendar of Israel? <clears throat> Did you notice the full moon last night? No. It was, yeah, it was there in all its glory. The full moon marks the start of Passover. Wow. It has marked the start for the past 3,500 years. And we are going to be in Passover until August 13. Mm. This is an amazing time to be here. <clears throat> It's our sign in the heavens. It's God's light in the night, showing the way out of Egypt, the path to freedom, and your soon coming promised land, the new church of Palawan. Set free by the blood of the Lamb, ready as a bride for the bridegroom. Amen. By the way, I am Nena Benigno. I'm a writer, not a preacher like Linda. But the notes are, the message is in her heart. Mine is on bond paper. So I have to, well, anyway. <clears throat> I have been a senior writer for 700 Club Asia. For 27 years and a founding member of Jerusalem Eastgate Foundation. Can we have the light please? There. <clears throat> and for the past 15 years, we've had the prayer sanctuary sa pinakatuktok ng Mount of Olives, the very top of the mount, facing the east. Uh, next slide please. That's our prayer sanctuary. Uh, and it faces a very important place, and that is, in the next slide, the East Gate. That's the East Gate, where Jesus Christ is going to return to the temple in Jerusalem. And it, uh, and rule for a thousand years. Alam nyo po, the Passover It's one of the great pilgrimage feasts of Israel. Every male must go to Jerusalem and present himself before the Lord in the temple. And uh, next slide, please. That's why it's the great time for family reunions. Everybody from America, Switzerland, wherever you come from will go to Jerusalem and celebrate the Passover feast, read the book of Exodus. Pero what I'm wondering is, do the Jewish people, do the people of Israel realize how close they are to the ultimate Passover? We have watches to tell the time, and I'm the speaker before lunch, so I better not take long. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, we know the time. You have a watch. But does the whole world know what time it is? Does even Israel know what time it is? That clock, uh, let's go to the next slide. That clock tells us we're running. Very late and very close, we're nearing the end of our age. Zero hour to the most important appointment of our entire lives. Amen. When Jesus Christ, King of Kings and Lord of Lords, will come back in person to the world he created. When that glorious bridegroom will come to claim his bride. That's us, right? That clock is Israel. And God wants the world to keep looking at that clock. And he makes ways. If you notice, uh, next slide, please. Sorry, my clicker isn't working. Uh, if you notice, Israel is always in the news, always in the headlines. Either the Hamas 
is firing missiles at Israel and the Gaza Strip, we're praying because the Feast of Passover is a favorite time to attack Israel. So keep her in your prayers. Maybe it's a terror attack by the Palestinians or mass, mass rallies to bring down Netanyahu, Prime Minister. You've seen that in the news. There's always something. Whether you want to or not, you have to pay attention to Israel. Para siyang puing sa mata, like a grain of sand in your eye. <clears throat> it bothers you, it irritates you, and it won't go away. Next slide, please. At sa totoo lang, parang puing ang Israel. Napakaliit po. It can fit inside the island of Palawan. That's why everybody in Israel refers to Palawan. To, uh, to show how big Israel is. So it's like, it's such a small nation, but it disturbs the whole world. Amen. Next slide, please. What's more, it's one-third desert. And what are the tourist spots of Israel? America has the Grand Canyon. France has Cape Paris and the Eiffel Tower. Switzerland has the Alps. Next slide. What does Israel have? A wailing wall. A broken wall. Kung saan dapat ko umiyak. Pesaya kamso ng gulo-gulo na dito sa mundo. And what else does it have? A dead sea. Where not a single fish can live. Only people like the Dead Sea because the mud of the Dead Sea is supposed to be so good for your complexion. But if you don't, if you get the water of the Dead Sea in your eye, you can go blind. Wow. There are countries that the world calls, next slide please, superpowers. Russia, China, the United States, there are capitals where world events are shaped. Of course, Washington, Beijing, the Kremlin, Russia. But do you know that in God's eyes, one city and one city alone shapes the destiny of the world? Amen. And this is the dest and this is that city. Next slide, please. That says the Lord God, this is Jerusalem. I have set her in the center of the nations with countries all around her. That's the capital of the world. Next slide. He that touches you touches the apple of his eye, the most sensitive yeah. part of us and of the Lord. Next slide, please. This is Jerusalem. This is where the clock will stop ticking. And the gong will start chiming. Yeah. Where Jesus Christ, when Jesus Christ will return. Ito ang biblical capital of Israel. They call it Jerusalem of gold. Because by law, all buildings must be built with Jerusalem, orange, yellow, limestone. And if you're there at sunset, and the light strikes the city. It turns into gold. Para pong ginto. Yellow gold. And what does gold symbolize? Gold symbolizes God's throne room. The sanctuary of the Holy of Holies. Where everything is made of gold. And it's a golden city waiting for its king. Malapit na po. And that's also why, next slide please. Israel, ang palaging ginegera. It's the most embattled nation in the world. Everyone is fighting for the city of Jerusalem. Why? Because it's really a war for the highest power, for control and domination of the globe. Next slide. Mula nang pinanganak ang Israel in 1948. Over 40 wars, great and small, have been fought over Israel. Nandun yung War of Independence, the Yom Kippur War, the Six-Day War, 
And now, next, uh, next slide, please. Right now, there's the threat of nuclear war by Iran. Terrorist attacks by the Hamas, the Islamic Jihad, Hezbollah, the Houthis, and now even threats from Washington, best friend of Israel, Dati. Right now, there's a ring of fire. 300,000 rockets that are pointed at Israel that can be fired simultaneously from five nations. Uh, is, is, Iraq, Syria, Lebanon, Yemen, Iran, they all have missiles. Nakatutok sa Israel. One word from Iran and they will all fire. Hindi daw kakayanin ng Iron Dome, the famous defense system of Israel. But, you know, the new method of warfare now to fight Israel, they call it diplomatic jihad. The nations of the world na gustong burahin ang bansang Israel. Uh, last December at the United Nations, they passed a resolution, 90 nations voted, declaring that Israel is a nakba. Yun po ay Arab word for catastrophe or disaster. In other words, Israel, reborn in 1947, it's a disaster. It's a mistake. It should never have happened. It should go back to being a Palestinian state. Ano po yung Palestinian state na palagi yung naririnig? Next slide, please. In 135 AD, uh, yeah, uh, by a vote, the Roman Emperor Hadrian, next slide, please. Uh, yes, that's Nakba Day, declaring the day of Nakba. Israel is a catastrophe. This May 15, that will be commemorated in 90 countries of the world. That Israel should have never been reborn. Next slide, please. And that was um, promulgated by the Roman Emperor in 135 AD when Rome conquered Israel. Gusto nilang alisin ang connection between the Jews and the land of Israel. And so the Romans gave Israel a new name. Palestina or Palestine from the word Philistine, the traditional enemy of the Jewish people. And for 1,800 years, uh, Israel, next slide please. Israel was called Palestine. At uh, bakit? Nabuhay uli ang Israel noong 1947 after 1,800 years. Bumagsak po ang empire ni Hitler. There were 2 million Jews na wala ng bahay. They had nowhere to go. Their houses were confiscated. They needed a place where they could live. And so the United Nations, in an act of mercy, uh, held a vote to resurrect Palestine, and make it once again Israel. At alam nyo ba kung sino ang tanging bansa sa Asia na bumoto sa Israel? Us. Amen. Amen. But, really, sign of the times. Now the UN wants to reverse its decision, and very sadly po, Ang Pilipinas ay bumoto na nakba daw ang Israel. We voted against our own vote. And you have to pray hard na babalik ta dito with the new administration. Because we're supposed to bless Israel, di ba? Not curse her. They who bless Israel will be blessed and they who curse her will be cursed. And we don't want to be cursed. We don't need that. Because the Bible doesn't say that Yeshua is going to return to Jabal Al-Tur, which is what the Arabs call the Mount of Olives, or to a Palestinian state. Wala sa Bible, inahanap ko eh. Only Jerusalem. He's only coming back to Jerusalem. But the imposter is trying hard. It's a fulfillment of the prophecy. 
in the Psalms, with cunning, they conspire against your people. They means the Arab nations, if you will read the chapter. Come, they say, let us destroy them as a nation, that the name of Israel be remembered no more. That's, what's, that's what they're trying to do. And here are more cues from Yeshua that tell us na malapit na talaga. He said, next slide please. Nation will rise against nation, sabi nga ni Pastor Elinda, kingdom against kingdom. There will be great earthquakes, famines, and pestilences. There's the war of Ukraine and Russia. Great earthquakes recently in Syria, recently in Iraq, and yesterday in Catanduanes. Famines and pestilences in various places. Uh, COVID is over and we're declaring there will not be another epidemic or it won't come to the Philippines. And fearful events and great signs from heaven. Kung naalala nyo, there was a blood moon tetrad. Uh, blood moons for five days, right on the feast days of Israel. It's a sign. It's a sign. And I believe the sign, the tribulation has started. So, parang headlines po ng dyaryo, ano? Uh, things are unfolding. Ito pa ang isang signos. Mm -hmm. Let's go to the next slide, please. Alam nyo ba na tinataas na yung third temple sa Israel? Right now, they're beginning to make plans to build it. The government already approved a uh, direct uh, train from the airport in Tel Aviv, straight to the temple, bring down your sacrifices, wow. and go straight there. And then, next slide, uh, they're ready to put, that's all available right now, uh, the 24, 24 karat gold menorah, the table for the shoe bread, the spices for the incense, and lahat. And finally, this was just last year, Next slide, please. They finally found the red heifer, uh, the uh, cow that will be sacrificed to consecrate the priests para mag na ang temple, um, ang temple rituals. Not a single black or white hair on those red heifers. Pag may lumabas, disqualified. <laughs> Cow. Now, the thing is, they're preparing for the wrong Messiah. Mm -hmm. Diba? Yeah. An imposter, an antichrist. Kasi, the third temple has been built already. Mm -hmm. Does anyone know where it is? Do you know where it is? Yeah. Amen. Well, Yeshua said, destroy this temple. He meant the physical temple. And I will rebuild it in three days. Aling temple yon, The temple of the Holy Spirit. Amen. His temple in our hearts. And he already made the perfect sacrifice. He died on the cross to end all animal sacrifices once and for all. That's why another sign of the times Yeshua gave this warning in Matthew 24. Let's go there, please. When you see standing in the holy place, the abomination that causes desolation. Who's that? Spoken of through the prophet Daniel. There will be great distress. Unequaled from the beginning of the world until now. Never to be equaled again. And you will be betrayed even by parents, brothers, Relatives, friends, and all men will hate you because of me. That's what Pastor Linda is warning us. Trouble may be coming, even from our own families. But he also said, but not a hair of your head will perish. Yes. By standing Amen. firm, you will gain By life. standing firm. So stand firm. Amen. Amen. Whatever happens. Because even in the midst of tribulation... God's greatest work is being fulfilled. As the praise song goes, even when we don't see it, he's working. Even if we don't feel it, he's working. 
He's making sure that all of us, all men and nations, will pay attention, will hear his invitation. This world that you live in, that you're so involved in, that you're so in love with, is falling apart. Yeah. Can't you see it? I'm making it fall apart to get your attention. It yeah. will not last. It will be destroyed. Because he's saying, come back to me, my children. Mm -hmm. Come home. Come back to paradise. Come Amen. to the wedding feast of Amen. my son. And so, that's why we're here. Next slide, please. This is what the gathering here is all about. To prepare ourselves to stand firm. To be part of that end time remnant. The Bible says remnant. Hindi lahat. Yeah. Can you imagine that? To be Yeshua's bride. And not just ourselves, but our families, our churches, the Philippines, and most especially Israel, and the Jewish people. Sapagat silang ating ate at kuya, the firstborn. So next slide, please. At huwag niyo pong isipin na wala kayong pakialam sa Israel kahit nagkakagulo dun. Because like it or not, if you're a true Christian, you're Israel. You're true Israel. Yes. Through Yeshua, the root, we're grafted into the olive tree of faith of Abraham. We are citizens of the commonwealth of Israel. Amen. Gentiles and Jews, Gentiles is us, non-Jews, are one new man. Magkaisa po tayo in Messiah. And according to the epistle to the Galatians, uh, next slide please. If you belong to Christ, then, then you are Abraham's seed. Amen. You look Jewish to me, don't you? Look <laughs> Jewish. <laughs> you are Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. The promise of blessing. Amen. The promise to possess the gates of your enemies. The promise to rule in the promised land. Amen. So, next slide, please. Despite the gathering darkness, all the troubles, problems all around us, the most unimaginably glorious time is coming. Amen. Probably very soon. Woo! And that is how Jesus endured the pain of the cross. Ang hirap nun. But by looking forward to the joy set before him. Mm -hmm. To claim us, the people he died for. The bride, the church for which he gave his life. Mm -hmm. Ganun ba yung boyfriend nyo? Sipi nyo? He gave his life. Next slide please. Alam nyo ba kung bakit siya babalik sa Jerusalem? And not any other place or country? You ever think about it? Why Israel? Bakit hindi Amerika mas maraming Kristiyano? Singapore, Canada. Maaari mong sabihin, eh doon pinanganak si Jesus eh. Christianity began in Jerusalem. Yeah, yes, that's true. Pero bakit doon? Why not where there are more potential believers like China or the continent of Europe? Sabihin mo, eh, doon pinadala ni God si Abraham eh. Pero bakit doon? Why did Abba choose this very small land as big as your province to be the promised land at Jerusalem pa to be his capital, the center of the world? Bakit doon? I got my clue. Next slide, please. When we visit the Hebron, burial place of Abraham, uh, doon unang pumunta si Abraham, nung pumunta sa Canaan, uh, sabi ng rabbi sa akin, Hello, welcome to the entrance to paradise. It's traditionally believed, and that is the um, cave of the patriarchs, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. 
uh, that it is also the burial ground of Adam and Eve. And that the entrance to paradise in the spiritual realm is there. And then po, read this remarkable verse in Genesis. Next slide. A river watering the garden flowed from Eden. From there it was separated into four headwaters. The name of the first is Pishon. The name of the second river is the Gihon. The third is the Tigris. The fourth is the Euphrates. Asa na yung mga yan? Well, the Gihon Spring, where every Israelite king was anointed. Next slide, please. Uh, that's the Gihon Spring, very sweet, cold water. Um, it's in East Jerusalem. The ancient Armenian maps. Next slide, please. Kung pag-aaralan niyo po yan sa museum ng ano, Armenians. The Tigris and Euphrates flow through Iraq. Iran and Syria, but they don't come from under Iraq and Syria. They come from farther away, underground. And where is that? Next slide, please. Dito po. Dito po ang origin. Devout Jews and Orthodox rabbis, including the famed Jewish shade, uh, Torah scholar Maimonides, believe that the river of life originally springs from under Jerusalem, mm. specifically from beneath the Temple Mount, the, uh, the, the Golden Dome over there, the Mount Moriah. Ito po ang sentro ng Jerusalem, kung kayo po ay padadala doon, the heart of Israel. And um, un inside is a Muslim shrine, the Dome of the Rock. Where Abraham almost sacrificed Isaac, pero sabi ng mga Muslim si Ishmael daw ang montik ng sacrifice don. And that's the Wailing Wall, the platform or retaining wall of the temple, and underneath all this flows the river of life. Next slide, please. So that's the source. And one day, the river will flow again. Presumably in the New Jerusalem. At this prophesied in Ezekiel. And there was water flowing from under the temple. And it shall be that every living thing that moves will be healed. And everything will live wherever the, uh, the river goes. Live. Next slide, please. The first 20 years I was going to Israel. They had this memorial stone, the western wall. Pero binago na nila yung area. Wala na doon. Pero ang sinasabi po sa stone na yan, the divine presence never moves from the western wall. Jewish tradition teaches that the temple mount is the focal of creation. It is the center of the mountain. There lies the foundation stone of the world. Here, Adam came into being. Here, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob served God. It was believed, it is believed, that Adam and Eve were created there in Jerusalem. Amen. And that was where we were supposed to enjoy the perfect life of God from the very start. Yun ang, pa, pa, ano, yun ang plano niya. We could walk with Him, we could talk with Him, pwede tayong sumayaw, halikan natin siya, yakapin siya. Amen. As we would a father who we love dearly. And kaya naman, mahal na mahal ng Diyos ang Israel. Sabi niya, uh, it's the apple of his eye, the praise of the earth, his treasure. Kasi pag nakikita niya ang Israel, natatandaan niya tayo. The beautiful, perfect life he meant us to enjoy together. You might say the story of Israel is a love story po. Amen. Where God uh, is wanting us to come back. Not just to him, but to a land that is our inheritance. It is ours. And um, Jesus made a way to bring us back there. It is believed. Can we go to the next slide, please? Yeah, the life in paradise. Next slide, please. Uh, well, that's Adam and Eve. They were evicted from paradise because they ate of the fruit of the tree of good and evil. Sinabihan sila, you will be like God. Eh, hindi naman nila kayang gawin yon. And next slide, please. 
So they were cast out. And it is believed uh, that, next slide please, in the place where um, it was Eden, the perfect life, naging disyerto. And that's the Middle East right now. And it's a place of war. Next slide, please. Dapat shalom, peace, sa paradise. But now it is the center of war. And, but Jesus made a way. He said, next slide, please. He himself bore our sins in his body on the tree. So we might die to sins and live, live to righteousness. By his stripes, you are healed. Kaya po, tinatawag niya na tayo ngayon. As the bride of Yeshua, his son, we are legally and officially restored to our Father God. We will return to the life in Eden that we lost. We'll be co-rulers of a kingdom that will never end. Next slide, please. And that three of the fruit of the tree of good and evil, he nullified by the tree of the cross. Next slide, please. Next slide, please. And uh, the miracles he worked in Israel is a return to the Eden life, like resurrection, healing. Next slide, please. Yes. So, we are going to return to the Eden life, di lamang as a bride. Co-rulers pa. Uh, and the cry of Exodus, the Passover, is the same cry of God to us today. Let my people go. Let my people go so they can worship me and come to our wedding. Let me end with a benediction. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. Shalom.